You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. In national news tonight, former President Donald Trump saying over the weekend he will be arrested this week in New York. Washington correspondent Basil John joining us now with reaction from lawmakers and officials on the possible indictment. Eyes are focused on New York City because a criminal investigation of former President Donald Trump's actions could result in his arrest. Former President Donald Trump says he expects to be arrested following a grand jury investigation of his alleged hush money payment before the 2016 election. Trump calls that story a fairy tale, and the prosecutor expected to bring the charges highly political. On Monday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis agreed the case appears politically motivated. And he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about po porn star hush money payments. You know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda. But if charges are made, DeSantis gave no indication he would stop Trump from being extradited back to New York. We're not gonna be involved in it in any way. Trump is calling on his supporters to, quote, protest and take our nation back. But former Vice President Mike Pence told ABC supporters need to stay calm. If this occurs on Tuesday, that they need to do so peacefully and in a lawful manner. The White House says it is monitoring the situation. I'm not tracking any individual or specific threats. When it comes to Americans who want to to protest, uh, they should do it peacefully. On ABC's This Week, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren said the law is operating as it should. This is another case of Donald Trump just trying to advance the interests of Donald Trump, not of the rest of the nation. The House Judiciary Committee also put out a letter demanding the Manhattan District Attorney provide communications and documents relating to this. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John. Today, Big Cottonwood Canyon shutting down as crews work to lift a crashed truck out of the creek alongside the road. A UDOT mechanic truck crashing through a fence and into the water around 8 this morning. Now, initial reports of some leakage from the truck drumming up some worries over possible water contamination, but... Officials quick to confirm there was nothing to be worried about. The truck crashing into the creek downstream from where the water is treated. So there was no fluid leaking from that vehicle into the drinking water. It's not clear why the truck driver went off the road, but we know they were not injured. The canyon opening back up around 1230. Further up the canyon, a record-breaking day for the greatest snow on Earth. Brighton Resort passing 700 inches of snow this season. They broke the milestone at 703 inches, but that was hours ago. With the way we saw snow coming down earlier in the day and the momentum of wet weather this season, we could just see those numbers continue to climb. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. And the winter season just keeps on giving, Alana, even though we are officially in spring now. Yeah, wintry conditions not wanting to go anywhere. A series of storms coming through this week. I have to show you, though, the cold front and the shelf cloud that materialized coming across the Salt Lake Valley and the Wasatch Front. You're watching a time-lapse video of this organized line of storms that brought thunderstorms, rain, wind, and snow, boom, hits the bountiful bench right there. Goodness gracious, that changed things up for the start of spring with soggy conditions. And we saw that rain transition to snow. This is what it looked like on the satellite radar. You see the front kind of progress in the last few hours behind it. That moisture and colder air moving in. Temperatures dropping near immediately as the front swept through and some spots holding on to some wet weather as we speak. Peggy Sorensen sending this from Woodland Hills because it was rain that switched to snow and the snow coming down. This does not look like spring sort of does in Utah, right? We know what Utah spring can bring. And we've already picked up decent amount of precipitation since yesterday. So we've got a lot going on with active skies ahead of us. More than three quarters of an inch at Sundance. Precip close to half an inch in Beaver. Delta getting close to four tenths. West Haven. Zion picking up more than a quarter of an inch. So healthy totals across the board with these numbers going up as we will get waves of moisture associated with the systems that could take hold as we head into tomorrow. Stronger storm system will favor southern Utah, but we get it throughout 
the state. Cherry Peak showing snowy conditions right now. You have the mountains under that winter storm warning, and we now have new warnings in place for the high country as we get through the next couple of days. Tuesday, 6 a.m., winter storm warning for our southern mountains, and that will hold and through early Thursday. The central mountains also dealing with that wet weather. That means 3 p.m. on Tuesday, so by the afternoon, not so early in the central mountains, so that gives you an idea of the direction that the moisture will flow coming from the south. Some tropical remnants there. 3 p.m. Tuesday through 6 a.m. Thursday for the Wasatch Mountains and the western Uintas. And on the eastern side of the state, we get a winter weather advisory for a portion of the Uintas and the Los Alanabajo Mountains under a winter storm warning. So more accumulating heavy snow on the way. Mountain travel will definitely be tricky and more wintry than it will be for spring. As we look at moisture accumulation through Thursday, it really tells the story here as we zoom in that the heaviest precip expected in the southwest desert, but throughout the state, wet weather on the way, giving you an idea that those active conditions and unsettled weather will hold on for this work week. Futurecast walks us through the timing so you know exactly what to expect eastern Utah into tonight staying active. And here we are by 9 p.m. Rain holding on in St. George, snow towards Cedar City and up near the Iron County Mountains, so places like Brian Head and Alton going to continue to get snow. Can't rule out an isolated shower tonight with a little bit of a trailing disturbance for the Wasatch Front. But other than that, we're going to see a bit of a break until tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. That moisture starts moving in from the south. Snow, heavier rain towards St. George. Watch as it surges north by 9 a.m., moving into Iron County. This is going to keep on pushing by the afternoon. Heavier rain in central Utah. That includes Utah County, the Wasatch Plateau, getting snow and active conditions in southern Utah. We're going to keep our eye on flood conditions. This first wave of moisture does push north, and as it does, it will bring wet weather to northern Utah. It will be showery, and again, with the southerly flow, Salt Lake County at times can get shadowed by the Ochre Mountains, so it will be favoring places like Utah County and the Ogden Valley, which you notice here. Cache Valley will tap into it. Look at the West Desert with plenty of rain by tomorrow night. ABC 4 News at 10 in South Central Utah. Very active conditions by tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Now, colder air moves in. Wednesday promises snow showers, sloppy snow showers throughout the state. You can see those active skies holding on in the north by 10 a.m. Look at that, the Wasatch Front getting snow shower potential, and so will the central portion of the state. Showers hold on for an unsettled Wednesday and linger into early Thursday. We're not done, though. Active skies hold on for your weekend. Here's what to expect snow-wise as we make it through Thursday. Look at the mountains, anywhere from 10 to 30 inches, depending on where you are in the state. Rain to up to four inches for our valley locations. Bench is a little better. The I-15 corridor from Nephi to Cedar City could see anywhere from two to eight. Now keep in mind, that's for several storms as we make it through Thursday. Sloppy spring conditions, 30s and 40s for those highs tomorrow. Below average across the state, 53. In Moab, only a degree warmer in St. George, where the rain holds on. And this next system, Tuesday into Wednesday in the southwest desert, has the potential to pack a very soggy punch. Drier conditions for the south as we get into next week. Here's the Wasatch Front. We also will see very unsettled conditions. It's going to be showery, spring showery. So at times, we'll see drier conditions, and at other times, light to moderate rain and at times snow showers. So a little bit of everything. I know that the spring memo came out, but <laughs> Mother Nature's like, nah, we're okay. We're going to do this. So if you now. don't if you don't like what you're experiencing at the moment, just wait five minutes. Well, isn't that Utah weather <laughs> all the time? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Alana. Moving